Greetings everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub. I'm going to go through the solutions for question one from the 2009 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass people. So let's begin. Part A, it says state Ohm's law. So Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance at a constant temperature and pressure. So that's it for Ohm's law and the part A. Part B now, it says figure one shows a series parallel circuit. So here we have figure one and we have a two ohm resistor that is connected in series with the parallel portion of the circuit that contains a four ohm resistor and the eight ohm resistor and they're connected across a nine volt DC source. For the two ohm resistor, let's call that R1. For the four ohm resistor, R2. And for the eight ohm resistor, R3. All right, so there we go. Now let's look at part one of B. So it says calculate the total resistance when S one is closed. So let's close S1. All right, so now we can go ahead and calculate the total resistance. So the first thing that we're going to do is to calculate the equivalent resistor value for these two resistors here in parallel. So we're gonna call that equivalent resistor value or EQ1, and we're going to use the product cover sum method. So our EQ1 is equal to R2 multiplied by R3 divided by R2 plus R3. That will give us four ohm multiplied by eight ohm divided by four ohm plus eight ohm. That will equal to 32 ohm squared divided by 12 ohm, and that will give us 2.67 ohm. So this is the equivalent resistor value for these two resistors in parallel. So now we're going to replace these two resistors in parallel with the equivalent resistor value. And that's the circuit we have here. So this is the equivalent circuit. We have R1, 2 ohm, REQ1, 2.67 ohm. So now we can go ahead and calculate RT. So RT is equal to R1 plus REQ1. That is 2 ohm plus 2.67 ohm. That will give us 4.67 ohm. So this is RT. All right, so that's it for point one. So let's move on to part two. So it says to calculate the total resistance when S1 is open. So let's open back S1 here. So now that S1 is open, right? So part two is asking us to calculate the total resistance. Now, if we were to trace the current flow from the source, right? The current will flow from the source through R1 and through R3 and back to the source. So the current will not flow through R2 and that's because S1 here is open. So it means that R1 and R3 are in series. So we can now go ahead and calculate the total resistance when S1 is open. So therefore, RT is equal to R1 plus R3. That will give us 2 ohm plus 8 ohm. And that is 10 ohm. All right, so that's it for part two. Now let's move on to part three. It says to calculate the total current when S1 is closed. Now, IT is equal to V divided by R. So when S1 was closed, 
the total resistance that we got was 4.67 ohm. So it means that that's the resistor volume or the resistance that we're going to use to calculate the total current when S1 is closed. So therefore, I is equal to V divided by R. So that is nine volts divided by 4.67 ohm, and that will give us 1.93 amp. So this is a total current flowing through the circuit when S1 is closed. All right, so let's move on to part four. So it says, calculate the power dissipated in the two ohm resistor when S1 is closed. So when S1 is closed, we know that a current of 1.93 amp is flowing through the circuit. So we can then go ahead and calculate the power dissipated in the two ohm resistor. So we're going to use the formula P is equal to I squared times R, and that is 1.93 amp squared multiplied by two, and that will give us 7.45 watt. So this is the power dissipated in the two ohm resistor. All right, so that's it for part B. All right, so let's move on to part C. So it says, define temperature coefficient of resistance. So, so this is the change in resistance of a resistor when it is subjected to a change in temperature. All right, so that's it for part C, and this is it for this question.